guys and welcome to another video. We are all staying at home and before I came home I actually bought some books. I also ordered some online from Book Depository that ended up only arriving after everything closed and after uh, everyone was sent home. So first I want to talk to you about my growing collection of Penguin, Penguin Classics, editions with, in collaboration with the Victoria and Albert Museum. So I started with the Anne of, of Green Gables ones because I am obsessed with Anne of Green Gables right now. I, I'm so sad about them not renewing the, the Anne with the Lee show because I think it deserves so much praise and it deserves to be renewed and it deserves to continue on. Uh, but I picked up the first book in this edition because I think it's a beautiful edition. At the same time I also picked up The Secret Garden by Frances Hudson Burnett. I watched the movie uh, from the 90s with Maggie Smith. I really liked it. I cried at the end. So I thought I would pick, it up. I would pick this one up and also read it because um, I have a good feeling about this one as well. I love Victorian classics, I love uh, classics in general and these seem like very beautiful stories. But then I also picked up Peter Pan by J.M. Barry because I just, I've never read this classic and I was in between buying this edition or the editions from, from the Penguin English Library but this was gorgeous and so I picked this one up. And then I also picked up more, more recently The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Um, I this is one of those classics that I wasn't sure of, uh, but I, I'm I'm in love with the cover and I've heard a lot about this. Uh, I have no idea what it is. It's one of those classics that never kind of came to Portugal, like never got really adapted into our culture. So it's fun to see that, and I'm really interested in seeing what the story is about. So now I'm gonna get into my book haul properly, saying. And for that I have, a, I have a pile of books here, nothing new. So the first one I have to show you is the Penguin English Library edition of Sense of Sensibility by Jane Austen. Uh, I know, I mean, no one is surprised that I picked up a Jane Austen novel, but I ordered this edition a long time ago and I finally picked it up. It was quite cheap actually and as you know I am collecting these editions, uh, the Jane Austen novels in these editions, I love them. Uh, I love these editions, I love reading in these editions and and so I'm really really happy about it. I love this cover, I love the pink, so everything here is perfect for me. And I, I'm so I'm so glad I have it now. So now we're going into some American books, I think. So the first one is a book I read many many years ago in ebook format and I've been trying to get my hands on a physical copy after reading it because I picked it up on ebook because I'm not sure if I if I would like to have it on on physical format. It mean meaning I don't know if I will, I mean I can enjoy it, but do I want to have that book forever? Uh, and in this case, this book actually, I really enjoyed it and I keep thinking about it. Uh, like five years later, and uh, now I still think about it. And that is Say What You Will by Kemi McGovern. Very interesting in re revisiting this book and seeing if I still enjoy it as much as I did. The main character so has cere cerebral palsy, I think that's how you say it in English. Uh, and it really changed my perspective on um, what exactly his um, cerebral palsy, what this condi condition actually means and how we, how it impacts a person that has this condition. really enjoyed it when I read it and so I picked uh, a copy of it finally. The next book I have here to, to show you is Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Love Stories by, edited by Stephanie Perkins and this has Lee Bardugo, Cassandra Clare, Nina LaCord, Lev Grossman, Stephanie Perkins, Veronica Roth, Jennifer E. Smith, Libba Bray. I have the Christmas one. I bought it in 2014 and since then they released this one which I had never picked up. Never happened to come across it but I, it was on my book depository wishlist for years. And I finally picked it up because I had, um, had a coupon and there was a sale and everything. So I picked it up, really excited about it for the summer. Clearly not gonna read it now but because uh, it's quite gloomy actually today. But, um, but I cannot wait to read this in the summer. Next book is something that's been very hyped up. This is a new release, kind of, a new -ish release. And this is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McKiston. And this is a YA, kind of new adult YA, like older YA. A love story about a fictional a British prince and a fictional son of a female president of the United States. <laughs> so that's, that's interesting. I cannot wait to read this. Uh, I've heard amazing things. People hyped it up so much that, you know, 
maybe that's bad but I cannot wait to read this book I I'm actually thinking about reading it now because we are so I'm, I mean I'm close at home I just want something uplifting and cute and really like engrossing like something I'm gonna just be like, turning the pages and being really really obsessed with while I'm reading it and so I have been thinking about picking this one up actually but this is a newish book and I just couldn't wait so I, I picked it up it wasn't cheap for the paperback book that it is but it's quite it's quite comfortable to read actually then we have another cute book and this is The Rosy Result by Graham Simpson. now this book I'm not in focus wait just a minute <laughs> This book is a third book uh, that follows The Rosie Project and The Rosie Effect. I really love the first one. was a bit iffy on the third one, on the second one. But I really wanted to, to see how the story continues and how the characters continue. Because you kind of grow attached to the characters. And this one seems to be really interesting because he now has a son. The teachers of his son want to have an autist assessment uh, so done to his son. And that makes him question. Uh, himself so there we go uh, really excited to read this one now we're going into a bit a bit of a more literary area and uh, first I have Celestial Bodies by and I'm gonna butcher this name Jocka Alharti I think this is the book that won the Man Booker International uh, so it's been translated to English by Marilyn Booth I thought about getting it in Portuguese but the, in the Portuguese translation is actually from the English from this one. So double translation is not optimal, it's not the best and since I could get my hands on the translation that won the award it means the actual translation is also very good and so I picked this one up which was translated directly from Arabic and the author is from um, Oman and yeah I'm really interested in reading this book and I'm very very excited to get this then I got another very interesting interesting novel, which is Bernadine's Everist Bernadine Everisto's Girl, Woman, Other. This book was one of the winners of the Man Booker Prize last year. This is about Britain t today. It, comes, it tells you 12 different uh, perspectives, or it follows 12 different characters. And this new cover, which is a paperback, I was waiting to for, for the release of the paperback to get it. This cover is gorgeous gorgeous I just love the very papery feel and also the colors are gorgeous I'm in love with this cover I'm, lo I'm in love with it it's beautiful and I'm very very curious about this book because I've heard amazing amazing things about it I've heard it's so poetic so beautiful and so pertinent and so important right now and so inclusive and brilliant just brilliant and so I'm really really excited to get this book Next, I have a book that has also been nominated for some awards, I think, the and this is Queenie by Candice Carty Williams. I heard about this in some podcasts, uh, mainly. Uh, this is the new paperback edition, which has this little gold foil that I'm in love with. I love the cover, by the way. I love the pink. I love the gold and the white, and it's, it, this is a gorgeous, gorgeously made book. And I've heard mixed reviews on this book. Some people uh, think it's... The first two thirds are very hard to get through. Some people really love the, how how they feel it's very real and very honest. I don't know how I feel about it yet, so I'm not gonna make uh, educated guesses. I'm just I, I'm really happy to have it and I'm really curious to read it. So there you go. Next we have a very recent book as well, and this is more in the YA section again, and this is. Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. I've heard great things about this. This is a YA book. And this is about Jamie, who is a Jewish boy, and Maya, who is a Muslim girl. And this is during the um, during election time. Um, so I guess a lot of very important themes are going to be addressed in this book. Besides the fact that I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a very cute love story. I love Becky Albertalli's books. I've read Love, Simon, um, The Upside of Unrequited, and the other one, which is called Leon the Offbit. And so I cannot wait to get my hands... I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. I'm very excited. I love the cover as well. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm really happy to have it. The next book is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, everyone raves about this author's books. Uh, there's two mainly that are very, very well-regarded here on booktube 
and that is this one and I'll give you the sun but I actually got The Sky is Everywhere by Jenny Nelson do I know a lot about the plot? actually no uh, but the main character is obsessed by with Wuthering Heights I'm very interested, I'm very excited I'm very very curious to see what this book is about this one was, was on sale, that's why I got this one instead of the other one but I'm very very curious about it the cover is beautiful, I love this cover and I cannot wait to read it yet then I got two books that I am very curious one is very hyped everyone has talked about this ever since it came out people have not stopped raving about it there's a show coming up uh, and it was so cheap that I just had it was less than 5 euros so I had to get it and the other one I've never heard anyone mention it but sometimes I really just need a very cute story to you know pick me up and get me into reading uh, so I'm gonna show you that one first and that is The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver uh, this cover, <laughs> I really love this cover, it, it just called me this is about a girl uh, Lydia who was together with Freddy for almost a decade and then uh, he dies on her birthday and, and she has to kind of rearrange her entire life hence the title The Two Lives of Lydia Bird I am very curious about this I'm feeling Me Before You vibes uh, which I really enjoyed reading that book so very excited about it but I don't know anything else besides that I read the blurb in, in the back and just got excited and got curious about the story so I picked it up and last but certainly not least is the book that everyone ever has mentioned everyone loves it this one has a series coming up I think people love this series, people that have read this series are in love with it so I thought uh, maybe maybe I'm gonna try it out and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Arthur you know what? I have no idea what the story is about I know there's uh, this group called the Raven Boys and then there's Blue which is the girl that kind of interacts with these boys uh, and I know there's magic or something like that it's a fantasy uh, series people really really love it and so I'm really excited about it it was quite cheap so I thought it, it was the perfect time to finally get my hands on it and actually read it so here we go I finally bought The Raven Boys and, I, and I'm actually very excited to have it and to read it so yeah that's it for me guys for, for today I hope you enjoyed this video stay home, stay safe I hope everyone has been reading very good books I hope everyone is taking this time to be take it easy and to just you know t try to read uh, maybe that's 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 our thing right so um, yeah I haven't been very successful at that but you know intentions that's what matters right thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you soon with a new video very soon bye